Never have items like the Kane Nevea USB flash drive that sell for $80 a piece for a four gigabyte model. Normally, 15 to 20 without his face on them. And Kane would not get paid for advertising endorsements at all. Andy Warhol was an artist and a celebrity in his own right who played with capitalism and commodities. Warhol's life was art. He made daily audio and video recordings as well as other artifacts that have now been labeled as art and given value. Just as Cain Nevea's life has become a commodity, Andy Warhol was an expert at commodifying his life and others' lives around him. Perhaps the best example of Warhol's Midas touch was when he turned Marilyn Monroe's face into the now famous multicolored screen prints. In this act, he was actively labeling her as a commodity. In February 2008, Lindsay Lohan would pose in a spread for New York Magazine in a recreation of a famous Marilyn Monroe photo shoot, now known as The Last Sitting, showing that she had reached the same echelon of stardom and market value as a celebrity commodity. One could say Warhol also commodified his own life, and the day-to-day -day activities in the factory were just as important to his value as an artist and a celebrity as the art he produced. Melanie Klein, a student of Freud, speculated that there is a stage before that of penis envy. She stated there is a relationship to the breast that develops, deeming a child has a good breast and a bad breast relationship with the mother. When the mother or the breast are feeding or nurturing a child, she and the breast are performing as the good breast. When the breast is not feeding the child, the mother and the breast are performing as the bad breast. This relationship causes the child to relate to the mother and the breast in a sort of love-hate relationship. This is the reason that sometimes a feeding baby may want to tear apart the breast or hurt it. Might our society have the same relationship with celebrities like Cain Nevea and his companions? When a celebrity like Kane produces something, or it ends up in the tabloids, he is acting as the nurturing good breast. <laughs> a good example of Kane being the nurturing good breast is when he posts blogs. In the summer of 2009, Kane Nevea went on a tour of the American Southwest to promote good hygiene and help stop the spread of H1N1 influenza or swine flu. All of this was followed by multiple blog postings. When Kane returned from these trips, he did not blog as often. And some of his blogs were less personal, causing him to take on those qualities of the bad breast. When Kane Nevea, Paris Hilton, or Lindsay Lohan stop producing, we are like the child in the relationship with the breast. And we are inclined to want to tear apart the celebrity. This destruction of the breast is why we choose to both celebrate celebrities and at the same time we love to destroy them by taking an in-depth look at their lives in order to find flaws. This give and take allows us as voyeurs of celebrity culture to constantly be nourished. But our culture's favorite formula is a mixture of the good and the bad. Sophie Call is an artist that is full of good breast and bad breast tendencies when viewed in Kleinian theory. She, like the other artists mentioned, is an art star, giving her the same type of status as Cain, but in the celebrity world. Sorry, in the art world. There are many deep connections between Cain Nevea and Sophie Call in that they take on other personas from what they are in private. 
Although Call's public persona is undoubtedly shaped in a more calculated manner. In 1992, a character in Paul Auster's book, Leviathan, was loosely based on Sophie Call. Some aspects of her were true to Sophie, while others were fictional. She decided in her book, Double Game, to turn fiction to fact by performing the acts in Leviathan, nurturing her own need to create art and her audience's need for her art. Here, she is acting as the good breast. Not everything that we read in the tabloids is factual. Therefore, even when the fictional reality that the tabloids construct for Cain is distributed to us, this false reality can necessitate our need for the good breast. On the other hand, the two are drawn close again when Sophie Call acts as the bad breast, as in her piece, Take Care of Yourself, which was highly criticized when she documented an abrupt breakup via email with a lover. Kane Nevea, Paris Hilton, and Lindsay Lohan all relate to this type of bad breast functionality because their hookups and breakups are highly public and publicized. Do we not invest in celebrity relationships and hope that they both work and fail? We have all looked at Lindsay Lohan and Samantha Ronson, or Kane Nevaeh and Janice Blankenship's roller coaster relationships, and we put some stock into these volatile affairs. In the end, they have either nourished us or repulsed us. This makes celebrity relationships both good breast and bad breast pieces to the puzzle we are trying to solve. This also makes Kleinian theory crucial to giving us insight into our dependency on these celebrity figures. Celebrities of today are a strange breed. The reason for their fame is shrouded in mystery making them even more interesting to the voyeur. Therefore, cultural phenomena like Cain Nevea should also be inspected through the lens of Theodore Adorno. When Nevea produces or endorses a cause, people jump on the bandwagon regardless of their personal beliefs. Theodore Adorno wrote about this very quandary in On the Fetish Character of Music and the Regression of Listening. Adorno was primarily examining the dilemma of musicians, or in our case, Kay Nevea, becoming bigger than what they produce or endorse. An example of this happening is when we buy a product simply because a celebrity's face is associated with that product. Therefore, it is very safe to say that when Cain gets behind a cause or a product, it is destined to sell no matter what it is, how much it costs, or even if it is something worthwhile at all.